Congratulations on your brand new FizzBatch 9000. This video will help you set up and activate your machine. Your machine contains tools and maintenance parts to keep it in working order. These parts can be found in the storage section below the scanning unit. To begin the setup for your machine, remove the electrical wire, the card weight, the Tails installation kit, bin number one, the Allen key set, and the hopper thumb screws. Attach bin number one to the end of your machine. Bring forward the nuts embedded in the wedge component. These nuts will need to be aligned to secure the hopper on your machine. Secure one side of the hopper using a thumb screw. Make sure the inner wall of the hopper is flush with the inner wall of the scanner. If it isn't, cards may get stuck during your fizz batching process. The next step requires the components of the Tails installation kit, as well as a 2.5 and 5mm Allen key. Using a 5mm Allen key, remove the center bolt. Secure the holder using the provided screws. Reinsert and tighten the previously removed bolt. Place the tail spacer against the inner wall. Insert the tail into the landing pad using the spacer as guidance. Using an adjustable thumb screw, secure the tail to the landing pad. Power on your machine using the switch. Power on your mini PC by pressing the button on the bottom right of your machine. A white light will appear in the center. Please note that the power supply to your machine and mini PC are independent. To shut off your mini PC, simply press the button on the bottom right of your machine. The white light in the center will disappear. Once your mini PC is switched on, open the network panel on your computer. Select the address seen on the service tag next to the power connector. When prompted, Enter the following security key, uppercase T, CG, the number 1, uppercase M, A, C, H, I, N, E, S. On the new page, click rescan until your internet network appears. This process may take a few minutes. Once your internet network is visible, select it and enter your Wi-Fi password. Then click on the submit button. This connection process may once again take a few minutes. When you receive a positive connection status, a link will appear at the bottom of the page. Make sure to reconnect your personal computer to your internet network before the next step. When your personal computer is reconnected to the Wi-Fi network, click the link below. You will then be redirected to a login page. Your FizzBatch 9000 can also be wired to your internet network. Remove the Ethernet cover located next to your service tag and insert the Ethernet cable into your machine. To log into your machine when it is connected through Ethernet, use the following address. Insert the four digits of your service tag to complete the address on screen. We recommend bookmarking this address for easy access to your machine. A computer connected to the same network as your FizzBatch 9000 is required to interact with your machine. Please note that you may be unable to connect to your machine if your device is on a different subnet within your network. This can include setups with multiple routers and repeaters. The details used to create your original order will correspond with your login information. If you log into your machine but do not see a sort option, sign out and use the address on screen. Insert the four digits of your serial number to complete the address. We must now adjust your machine for sorting. Go to the upper left corner of the main page and select the sorting option from the drop menu. Keep this page open for later use. Adjust the height of the foot until a card can easily fit in. You should feel a resistance when trying to pull it out. To do so, turn the dial in the down direction. For better results, use small rotation increments. Feed around 300 cards into the hopper using the new weight provided in your feed fixer kit. In the maintenance task menu, Select the feed card option. Choose how many cards you would like to send. The default is one card. Open the scanner door and look into the camera bay. Select the feed cards button and observe the cards going through the gate and into the camera bay. If the cards double feed, the foot is too high and needs to be lowered. Turn the dial in the down direction using small rotation increments. If the card barely makes it to the first roller or does not make it through the gate at all, the foot is too low and needs to be raised. Turn the dial in the up direction 
using small rotation increments. Once you are getting consistent results with 300 cards, repeat this process with a full hopper. Remember to use small rotation increments for this process. This adjustment process may be needed over time, depending on the quality and quantity of cards sorted. For more information, please contact support at tcgmachines.com.